Hello friends, today we would be synthesizing ferrous sulfate that is iron 2 sulfate. Ferrous sulfate is easily prepared in the lab by treating iron with dilute sulfuric acid. In this video I have tried to synthesize iron sulfate with stainless steel as well as with pure iron pieces. Stainless steel actually contains approximately 89% iron and then comes chromium, nickel, molybdenum etc. Let us see the reaction of sulfuric acid with stainless steel. Here I have taken a small piece of steel wool which is approximately 10 grams into which I am adding sulfuric acid to dissolve the stainless steel wool. Here there is a miscalculation from my side. I did not know that 85% sulfuric acid would be reacting with stainless steel wool that vigorously. That is why I added that concentrated acid first of all. This beaker is so hot now so I have added some water to decrease the reactivity of the sulfuric acid with the iron wool so that it won't spill out of the beaker. A little bit was already spilled out which I had to clean by pausing the video. Now you can see the steel wool is reacting peacefully with the sulfuric acid. I am adding a little more of water so that the reaction won't get vigorous when the temperature rises during the reaction. Now 12 hours have passed and almost all of the steel wool has reacted with the acid. Now we will filter this solution to remove any unreacted solid suspended particles from it. I am pretty sure that you can really make out that dark green color. This indicates that this solution not only contains the iron salt but also chromium as well. This actually contains nickel, molybdenum and many other salts. Here you can see that clear dark green solution. After the filtration is completed, I pour it into a 500 milliliter beaker and let it cool to room temperature and sit for about 24 hours. After 24 hours, you can clearly see that dark green crystals which are formed at the bottom of the beaker. We will now decant off the supernatant solution and we will boil that solution to recrystallize more of this dark green crystals. Now these dark green crystals are actually very beautiful and they actually contain ferrous sulfate with chromium because ferrous sulfate is not that dark. Now we will boil to reduce the volume of the previous filtrate so that I can get more of those dark green crystals. So this was the synthesis with stainless steel. Now we will react the sulfuric acid with pure iron nail pieces. Here I have taken approximately 5 grams of pure iron pieces into which I am adding 10 ml of diluted sulfuric acid. I added a little amount of water because I anticipated a vigorous reaction like the previous one but the reaction was not so vigorous as compared to the stainless steel wool. You can see that the reaction is taking place and bubbles are being formed. Here iron is reacting with sulfuric acid to produce ferrous sulfate and hydrogen gas is evolved as those bubbles. Now the crystallization and boiling steps were similar to the stainless steel one. Here the stainless steel crystals you can see that dark green crystals and these are actually highly contaminated with chromium. More than 10% of the stainless steel has chromium. So this compound is having more than 10% chromium in it. And this one on the left side is actually pure iron sulfate. That is the one I prepared with the pure iron pieces. And you can see that the color of that compound is very lighter than the previous one. This is the beautiful light green color of almost pure iron 2 sulfate. So this is what happens if you try to synthesize iron from stainless steel. 
If you have any idea regarding how to use that dark colored crystals of iron contaminated with chromium, please do comment in the comment section. Thank you so much for watching my video. If you loved the content of this video, don't forget to click the subscribe button and click on the bell button so that you will get notified about my future videos.